If a one-to-one -one function has a domain of three to infinity and a range of negative infinity to two, what is the domain and range of its inverse function? Well, when you're solving for a inverse function, one step in that process is to swap your x and your y values. Your x and your y values are your domain and your range. So the net effect is that you're going to swap the domain and range. So if you have some function that has a domain of three to infinity and a range that is from negative infinity to two, then you're going to have an inverse, as long as this is a one-to-one -one function and it was stated that it is, you're going to have an inverse whose domain is negative infinity to two and whose range is from three to infinity because you're literally just swapping the domain and the range when you're defining inverses.